Yo, it's your boy Black Cobra. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the 2-3 zone and just how to break a 2-3 zone. Now, this is red gameplay. Uh, I'm running with my guys, my main guys that I usually run with. I do not run with randoms. That's very risky. Risky business. I'm not into it. So, we get torched this game. The disclaimer, we got absolutely destroyed this, this game. And it's mainly because of the communication or the lack thereof. There was no communication. I wasn't even in the party for this game. Uh, I just got home. I just hopped on the game. They was running. I just hopped in. Nobody's talking to each other because I'm not in there. Um, but, th but that's key. If you're going to break a 2-3 zone, you need communication. But here's what happens. So I get matched up against a 6-5 something. I'm not too sure what he was. It's going to pop up on the screen real soon. Okay, there it is. He's a 6'5". I, I can't even see it on my screen. Whatever. He's 6'5". It don't matter. It don't matter what he is at this point. He's a baby. So in my head, I'm like, all right. They're going to let me rock. But that's not how, that's not how it went. Um, there, was a, there was a lot of... Uh, what do you call it? There's a lot of moving around. So here's, I think, our, our first position of the game. And what happens right here is I got this, this guy in the corner. It's not even my man. So I'm already a little suspicious that this is a zone. So here's what happened. I get a good clean shot in the corner. The, the corners, the two corners and that top of the key area, that is where you're going to be able to break the zone. As you saw with that last shot, I was able to get a wide open shot. I was able to get a wide open look, but I missed it. Now pay attention. Pay attention. This spacing is screwed. It is, it is screwed. I don't know if my teammates can realize that they're in a zone, but it's screwed. But fortunately for me, I was able to get in between the big and their, their, uh, the corner defender for another open shot. Make or miss, those are still open shots. Keep that in mind. Now look, pay attention to where my guys are. Now the spacing isn't as bad, but throughout the entirety of the game, the spacing is terrible. But despite that, I'm still able to generate an open shot and I'm going to take it. I'm going to miss the shot, but I'm going to take it. And you're going to see it's open. That's why I think it is so important if you're playing against a 2-3 zone, if you can have somebody who can score in the mid-range, especially in the top of the key area, that's raps. That's raps to me. Now, in this situation, look, I'm trying to seal my man off down in the, in the right side in the corner because I know he can't guard me. That's going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation, and if anybody helps, I'm done. But they're going to leave him on an island. But unfortunately, when the ball is passed, it, it leads me to the basket, but it's still an open look, still a bucket. All right, now, a couple of possessions later, same situation. The spacing is kind of crazy. But my man is caught in a situation under the basket. I got my man Donnie down in the middle. That pass should have either went to the middle or back outside to the corner. Either which way, it probably, it probably would have been a bucket or created another opportunity to get a bucket. But unfortunately, my guy, he goes back up for a, a shot attempt, and it's no good. All right, now, look. Look, check me out. What do you see? What do you what do you see going on here? Look how far the big man came out to help his boy. The ball not even in my hands. And look how far the big man out he came out to help. I got my man sealed and, I, and I'm waiting for the pass. But look how far. This is this is what I'm trying to say. If you have somebody who can score out of the post and in the mid-range area, it is it's either they're, they're going to leave their teammate out to get cooked or they're going to come over to help. Either which way, there's going to be a bucket generated for, from it or a wide open shot. All right, now this right here is what I was talking about in reference to the communication earlier. Had number seven, had uh, my man Kata, if he would have stood right there at the free throw line and if, if he didn't cut, that would have been an open shot. But big man, he's not trying to leave the paint. And I got my man Crab. So I can I can still generate an, uh, a shot out of this in between. But Kata, he shouldn't have cut. He should have stood right there where he was at that free throw line. And if that big man stayed where he was, I would have hit him and that would have been an open shot. But fortunately, if you got somebody who can score in the post and who can create their own shot, you can still generate a bucket in this in-between area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to make a quick move. I'm going to wait and allow my defender to make a decision. And the decision that he made was to engage me. He's in a bad spot right now. Look at his teammates. 
they they left him. They they basically said, "Yo, you on your own. You gotta you gotta stop it." And guess what? He's not. He's not stopping that one on one. And this this right here, like, all right, like, all right, look, 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 hold up. <laughs> all right, look, bro, we don't play the game seriously. All right, it's it's pretty evident, like we don't play the game seriously. But my God, look the spacing, bro. The space. I got my man Kata in the paint. The the rim protector is right there. I got my man Y two. He's not in the corner. He's in the mid range area. I got my man Donnie Donnie down on the wing. My other my point guard is not even in the frame. The spacing is crazy at this point, man. But look how look look at the spacing in 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 the middle of the court. Look at the the free throw line. Look where I'm at. Look where I'm at. There's nobody who is actively contesting me right now. So I can go ahead and do whatever I want to do. And right now, fade. Now, I know you're looking at that 18, but the 18 don't mean nothing because look at the badge stack. Look at the badge stack. Blinders, Green Machine, Midi Magician, Volume Shooter. The 18 doesn't really mean much. Now, now look at what the effect of that is, ha is having now. Look at where I'm at. I'm at the free throw line, and where is the rim protector? Where is the person who's supposed to be protecting the rim? He's nowhere near the rim. He's trying to guard me. He's trying to help this other guy guard me. I'm being doubled off ball right now, and the paint is wide open. I'm not touching the ball, just my presence alone because of the effectiveness of how much I can score from that area, I've already shown them that I can get a bucket from that area. So now they have to respect it. Now the big man has to step out of the paint and the paint is freed up. If the spacing were what it should have been, this game wouldn't have gone the way that it, that it, uh, that it went. But because the spacing and the communication wasn't there, this game was in shambles. But the fact, to my point, if you can score in the post from this area, that is what breaks a 2-3 zone. And now look, now look. Big man runs back to the paint. Now look. Now look. Wide open. If my man Kata stood where he was at on the wing, that's a problem. This is going to be a problem for the big man. He cannot, he cannot guard the rim and me at the same time. You can't guard two things at once. Right? And if my man Donnie Don's man on the wing, if he helps over, that's a dot to the wing. If my man number seven, if Kata man helps over, that's a dot to Kata. You can't guard everything if the person that you got on your team is able to score from this area. It's raps. All right, now look at this. Look at this. Now they're flustered. Now they're flustered. I don't even have to be in the middle. The fact that they know that I can get a bucket. It got them flustered. Buddy is supposed to be guarding the back door in the corner. He's nowhere near there. Back door is wide open. The guy who's supposed to be guarding my man at the top of the key completely abandoned him. Completely abandoned him. If you establish that somebody on your team can go get a bucket from that mid-range area, it's going to create problems for our 2-3 zone. Now, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look. I don't I don't know, y'all. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I got two of my guys in the corner. I, I got... I got my man on the wing and I got my, my guy in the corner. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this spacing. But look, but look, I know this guy cannot guard me. Look at that little Harlem Shake animation he did. If you got somebody who can just go get it from the post in that mid-range area, it's going to create problems. Look at that Dream Shake, Green Machine, Midi Magician. If the spacing and communication is right, man, I'm telling you, it, it, it collapses a zone. Now, check this. Both my guys cut at the same time. I don't like that. I don't like that because what that means is they're both heading in the same direction and that help defense is going to be able to cut both of them off. So if I hit my guy cut into the basket from the from the corner, he's going to have to make a, a, another decision or another pass that's going to lead to something else. So I just go forward, create my own shot. And this this is the direct effect of, of that, of being able to do that. Look, look. Look at where their center is. Look at where their rim protector is. Look at where their big man is. He all the way out here. He got to guard me all the way out here. Back door wide the hell open. That should have been a dunk. That should have been a dunk right there. But you see what I'm saying? 
if you got a post scorer who can who can get a bucket from the top of the key or in the corner, that's that's going to be zone breaking. Now, the score didn't already got ran up by now, but here's another example. Look, this guy cannot do anything to guard me. Now, look, this man came sprinting across the court to help him, to save him because he knows he cannot guard me. My guy is wide open at the top of the key, but the spacing is crazy. The spacing's crazy. If the spacing was the way that it needed to be in the communication, I am telling you, it obliterates a zone. When I see zone, my eyes light up because I know that somebody is going to have to guard me on an island. Now, look, this is this is what I'm talking about. He cannot. He is not defensively disciplined enough to guard me, even if he had the ratings to. Even if he had the badges to, he's not defensively disciplined enough to guard me. Who's who's contesting this shot? Nobody is contesting this shot. That's a wide. I think I missed this shot, but it's a wide open shot. This is what breaks a two three zone. Now, the, the game is well over at this point. So I don't even think Buddy is really trying to guard me. Now, in this situation, the center is he's trying. He's trying to get his blocks off. Clearly, he's trying to get his blocks off. But even he is not even <laughs> he's not even defensively disciplined enough to guard me. Who's guard? Who's who's contesting this this, this step through? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody is contesting this. This is why I'm I'm trying to tell you guys. Two three zone is not stopping anybody who is competent enough. And who knows the mechanics of the game and is efficient and is consistent playing like this. 2-3 zone is not stopping them. But he got his whole lockdown take on. The whole team in, in double take. He's not defensively equipped enough to stop me. If you got somebody who can post score. If you got somebody who can create their own shot. If you got somebody who is willing to pass. A 2-3 zone is chopped. All right. A 2-3 zone is chopped because what happens is the big man got to step up if you're playing the middle. And whoever is on the corners, if somebody help, dot. If they don't help, he just going to have to die on that island. It's your boy Black Cobra. I'll get at y'all later.